to make you a lot of noise. Do you want to, do you want to be involved? Do you want to come on here? <laughs> Hello my angels, welcome back to a brand new vlog and welcome back to the UK. I'm officially home and I'm officially back with my sausage people, my scrumptious sausages. Yes, so back in the UK, back at home and it has been a crazy day and all honest with you, it's actually just gone quarter past four. Odi, I know you want to play, you want to play, but it has been a crazy, crazy day. I definitely didn't actually look like this in all honesty. I've had my hair in rollers all day, anticipating doing lots of filming for Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Thought I'd make an effort and have actually been in rollers the entire day. So I'm looking somewhat poodleish, and actually popped a tiny bit of makeup on and I mean tiny bit because I looked so atrocious. Come on then. Oh, everybody wants to come and say hello to you. Huh? Mummy is home. Mummy is home. And actually, that's a question I get asked so often is actually who is at home with the sausages when Mark and I are away. And actually for, well, for those of you who are asking and probably for security purposes, um, I do actually say quite often that our house and the boys are never left unattended, ever. So we have full-time um, people living here, staff and security to ensure that obviously the babies are safe and of course the house is safe whilst we are away but we had the most incredible time but it is so lovely to be home the sun is most certainly not shining it is in fact sideways rain today we actually had the most beautiful morning so I feel like kicking myself not filming like a sunrise and a beautiful walk around the orchard with the boys the tulips are literally out in hundreds. I cannot wait to show you. I feel like we need to do an updated little tour around the garden. I shared that with you, gosh, a couple of weeks ago now, and we were looking rather <laughs> short on daffodils, but it is literally a sea of yellow in the orchard now. And the wig pig wants to go mousing. But look at that rain wig, so you're gonna go out there and you're gonna turn around on a sixpence and come back in. Anybody who knows sausage dogs will know that one teeny tiny drop of water and they're all having a mother's meeting as to who is peeing in what room in the day. <laughs> Wiggy being the best at it. So anyway, this vlog is going to be, after three minutes of wobbling on, we are home, regroup, sort of, get back into a routine. Being away is always just so divine, but I don't really have a routine when we are out in Mallorca. Obviously, I work when I can, shoot when I can. There's so much going on, different family members doing, wanting to do different things. My mum, my dad, my brother, Venera, Mark. Oh, Mark's mother, but it was absolutely sensational. And first and foremost, I just can't thank you enough for all of your support on my recent vlogs. I feel like Easter, it's been, it's been about a month. <laughs> There's most certainly been about a month of Easter content, but it has been absolutely incredible. And just making such special and new memories in the new house was absolutely amazing. And we just had the best time, but it was sadly time to come home and time to get my nose back down to the grindstone and get some work done. So as I said, Ellen is here. Anna is currently away at the moment, but Ellen and I have had lots to catch up on. We've got lots of editing to do, lots of ideas, and um, yeah, it's just been it's just been a busy day and a day of almost like brainstorming. What have we got coming up? Where are the gaps? Where have we got to fill things in? What are we doing? What does the calendar look like? We've also as I said in my last vlog, got a big shoot coming up. 
and I just love fresh and innovative ideas and different ideas. You know, things are working and essentially, you know, a lot of people say, well, why change it if it's working? But I do also like to introduce new things as well. So talking about that, I also really wanted to walk you around the garden, but this weather is just not the one. And of course, when I come home after being away, I have got quite a few deliveries. So I've cherry picked a few of them to show you all different types of deliveries, but some that I think you are going to be obsessed with. So I thought I would sit down and share that with you. Oh, I keep looking out the window saying I really want to take you outside, but I really don't want to get wet. We spent a lot of time this morning below drying the hair. I've also got to make dinner tonight, thinking about doing like a really health wellness, get back onto a bit of a regime. Whilst I'm away, I'm definitely one of these people, I stick to the 80-20 rule. I'm very, very healthy, very mindful what I put into my body when I'm at home. But when I'm away or when I'm at a restaurant and I really want something that might be classified as naughty, and I hate that stigma, um, but I just let my hair down and let loose, and I most certainly did in Mallorca. I ate every single mini egg in sight and drank my body weight in um, margaritas and champagne. Mm. So this is a sparkling water and elderflower and actually that's one of the packages I want to show you. It's one of my favourite cordials and sort of non-alcoholic beverages. Um, so I'm going to share that with you and then some other couple of bits. But as I said, this vlog is going to all be about getting home, back onto UK soil, getting back into a routine. The poochies most certainly want to say hello. They went absolutely crazy when I got home. We had the full choir, which was absolutely hilarious. And it's just going to be a bit of a homey, homey vlog, which you guys all seem to enjoy. I feel like I take you here, there and absolutely everywhere. I sometimes feel a bit uncomfortable when we're just sat chilling. I'm constantly thinking, right, gotta go here, we've gotta go there. And, and actually, you know, no, no, we don't, Leonora, no, we don't. We can take a deep breath. And you guys seem to like these relaxed ones, which makes me really happy. So I am in fact actually going to spend the next 45 minutes with Ellen, just finishing things up. And then I will, hopefully, the rain is gonna stop and we will take the dogs around the orchard for their quick spin before their dinner. We like to do pre-dinner run and then obviously after dinner around the orchard. And those tulips, well, even if it's raining, it still looks magnificent. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna unbox some seriously, seriously exciting bits. I feel like I'm not really doing them justice because I'm in like a, a denim jumpsuit. This is my like go-to, by the way. I feel like I need to do a whole vlog on that as well. I need to do a vlog on what to wear when you don't know what to wear at home, because I'm definitely one of those people that is slightly lazy in the morning. If I've got nowhere to go, but I still want to look put together and not live in workout wear, what do you wear? What do you wear? Anyway, I've got some hacks for that and it's always a jumpsuit. Anyway. I'm going to <laughs> spend a little bit of time with Ellen, stop warbling on, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, look at the state of these little scrunch skins. I just actually can't even begin to cope. Hey, Oates, what do you think? He's still angry at me for going away. <laughs> he is the most emotionally intelligent out of all of them and he's probably the most intelligent dog i've ever had he is just so smart even the second i bring out my suitcase he goes into a deep depression hey oats oh you're giving mummy kisses i missed you so much i missed you so much raffi got a little bit too hot in his snood you got a little bit too hot in your snood and then the old cretin at the bottom <laughs> wings i just can't even cope with you you have got to be the most scrumptious little person he's also the most affectionate dog and vocal dog i've ever had yes mr yap yap and he's a negroni oh a negroni right does anybody want to go out do you want to go out Want to go around the orchard? I think that's a yes. Do you want to go out? 
Oh, you can see the mousies. The big mousies. Oh, the squirrels. <laughs> Rappy. Come on then, let's go out. Let's go boys. Let's go boys. Hello my little pumpkin. Mummy's little blonde bombshell. Mummy's little blonde bombshell. Come on then, let's go out Mummy's Pickerlings. So actually for those of you who are new to the YouTube channel and maybe for those of you that don't know, we have beautiful personalised luxury by Leonora hampers and once a month you guys will get the opportunity to win a luxury by Leonora hamper and they will be filled with the most incredible goodies but I will leave in the description box down below what the month of April will have in the hamper. And then do you know what, sometimes we might even do a surprise hamper, so that's really exciting. On days like today, there really is only one coat for it. I'm telling you, this morning was so beautiful. It was like bright blue skies and sunshine, the most stunning sunrise you've ever seen. However, I looked horrific. I mean, I pride myself on coming onto YouTube looking so horrific and keeping it real on this channel but it was so bad i couldn't even do that so um i felt like i needed to uh, spare you guys and have a shower wash and blow dry my hair and put a lick of makeup on but i must say i'm feeling very bougie right now <laughs> and uh the, probably the wind is going to blow my uh, curls straight out of my hair but as I said there is only one coat for it and that is my exhibition coat from Holland Cooper this is the coat that I wear every single day multiple times a day and it saves me from every single drop of rain and blade of wind it is absolutely incredible I've banged on about it so many times but I'm dressed and ready to go outside I think the boys are ready. <laughs> Choice of Wellington boots are my Holland Cooper. Now these are like the midi welly length. I wish I could get you guys little Holland Cooper wellies. Huh? Maybe if I bought the baby wellies, they would fit the boys. But they're just that perfect length and it also means I don't have to put socks on. I know it's probably going to put the fear into so many of you, but yes, because they've got this gorgeous, almost like sheepskin um, lining. They're so warm and soft, I don't have to have socks on. Um, but I also want to put a disclaimer here, I do not share my wellies with anyone else, so only my stinky feet have the wellies. <laughs> Anyway, oh, this was blue skies, but sadly they have gone. I mean, there's a tiny bit, but not much. Oh, but the birds are singing and the boys are wagging their tails. Mummy has missed you so much, babies. But look at how much the garden has come on since the last time I showed you. This is still looking a little bit sad, but I cannot wait to show you what this looks like when it is in full bloom. It is absolutely magnificent. But the lavender bed and the alliums have shot up. I cannot wait to see what this is gonna look like in a month's time. But here we have a few of the tulips. And are they not looking absolutely stunning? So we have underplanted all of the Italian terrace pots with geraniums and beautiful tulips and they're looking absolutely magnificent oh hello you little dashing gentlemen you're so beautiful and then we've got this gorgeous very old metal trough we've got some beautiful hydrangeas this really is one of my favorite troughs it's underplanted just so beautifully. We've got a little bit of French lavender in here. This is what I think is called skimmia. I might be wrong, but um, it looks absolutely stunning when it is in full bloom. Again, 
This is actually an apple tree. It's got some beautiful tulips in there. Gosh, this garden is really an absolute masterpiece in all seasons. And I feel like it's just coming into its own. I feel like tulips are the first, along with snowdrops, I suppose. Um, and of course, daffodils. It's really that first sight of spring that we get. We've got some gorgeous, enormous, beautiful red tulips, almost like red pink tulips. <gasps> Raffi, what do you smell? What do you smell? Come on, boys. We're gonna go around the orchard. Gonna go around the orchard. Hi, mummy's little chicklings. Here we've got this tree. It's actually one of my favorite trees. I have absolutely no idea what you would call this. So my incredible gardening subscribers, please let me know in those comments down below what you would call this tree with like the four balls. Um, I have no idea and I truly hope you can hear me from that wind as well. But these tulips are just a little bit behind the others. Um, but I think it's safe to say that they are doing extremely, extremely well. And I'm so pleased with how many have came up because we did plant an exceptional amount of bulbs. <laughs> but as you can see here, these beds are doing exceptionally well. So this is all Steve, by the way. This is absolutely not me. I cannot take credit whatsoever. But he's got these little cages here to ensure that tulips are growing up. And these actually look like parrot tulips, which are those beautiful tulips with like the frilly edge. And again, we've got an incredible bed here with beautiful whites and purples tulips. A few little muscari that have managed to creep in there. But I think it looks stunning. Oh my goodness me, this is literally just making me smile from ear to ear. Now these are the fabulous Italian terrace pots that we have in the summer with the incredible billowing Annabelle hydrangeas. But at this time of the year, obviously they have been trimmed back within an inch of their lives and we've got the beautiful tulips in their place. But down here we've got more lavender, got tulips, got muscari, a few little herbingtons, but they are more for displaying tons because such cretin likes to pee and poo on all the herbs. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Scrumptious, as we like to say. But look at how stunning these tulips are. I am so happy with the way that the beds are looking. Wakes, what do you think, baby? What do you think? You're going with the convertible kind of look. Don't you think he looks a little bit like Dobby when his ears are back? Wiggy, what's this? What's this? Do you come say hi? Sit, sit. Good boy. He is a clever. So, mommy, you didn't have a treat. You fooled me. Oh, so upset. But look at this. Oh, Odie. Mummy's home. Mummy can play ball with you now. Go on then. Oh, quick, Raffi, get it, quick, quick, quick. No, the ball has gone off of the ha-ha. No. Oh my God, I don't think I've ever said something quite so British in my life. Um, but anyway, so a lot more tulips, gorgeous tulips. I'm gonna have to do like bi-weekly garden tours at this rate because the garden is just changing so quickly and color is being introduced in every single inch. I'm also so pleased with the way that the rose arbor is looking. Now that rose is climbing all the way over the top and will meet that magnificent rose there. Look at the buds. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And they just look so beautiful. I can't wait to see what color I think. They may be a white, but we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Now I've got four patiently waiting sausages. Is mommy gonna have to get down the ha ha to get them? Oh, I see. Where is it, boys? Where is it? Show me. Where is it, Oats? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, right. Hang on a minute. Mommy's gonna have to get that. <laughs> Coming. You mean I'm coming, I'm coming. This one? Oh, excuse me. Is it this one? Oh my goodness. <laughs> excuse me. Boys. Rubby drop. Rubby drop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Drop, 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 drop. Ready? Ready? 
get the ball. <laughs> and off they go. Oh my goodness, all this noise. All this commotion. All the commotion. Right. I think you can now see just how much of a grey day it is. So over here we have just a tiny bit of colour. Few little, <laughs> he's stolen the ball and he's off. So we've got some gorgeous pink tulips here. Look at the size of them. They really are just so exquisite with the yellow centres. We've got peach, we've got burgundy and whatever they are, they look like they're going to spring up to action. Now, with the herbaceous borders, it's all about levels and it's all about depth. And at this time of year, they're just starting to creep up. Few little muscari dotted around, but I genuinely think in a couple of weeks time, this is going to erupt with color. The tulips are looking absolutely magnificent. The beautiful little blue florals here on the rosemary look fantastic. I take the rosemary from the top because the bottom is tinkled on. So then we've got a little bit more rosemary. We've got some stunning hyacinths. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? They're going just slightly over. I should actually cut those for the house. And then we've got more tulips. And look at the trees. This is looking incredible. We are literally about a week away from our blossom trees out the front being in full bloom. And they are in fact only in full bloom for about a week and it looks like winter wonderland. It is so special and just so beautiful. And then we've got our gorgeous little magical garden. And this really is one of my favorites. And just up on this terrace here we have the most magnificent amount of tulips you've ever seen. So we've got a few beauties here. Look at this. They are absolutely magnificent. And they're just dotted throughout. A few little daffodils poking through. But look at that. Isn't it absolutely stunning? Oh my gosh, I wish the sun was shining today. But it doesn't matter, does it boys? doesn't matter. Come on then, come here. Come give mommy big kisses. Oh, they're like all the smells. All the smells. And Oni, Odie's worried about his ball. Come on then, come here. Come say hi. <gasps> oh, where's the ball? Look, he's going to bring his ball to me. He's unbelievable. Bring it here. <laughs> you are so naughty. Ready? Ready? And go. <laughs> There we go. Oh my goodness. Wiggy, come on. Oh, they are such buddies, those two. Absolute best friends. So let's quickly head up here and have a look at these tulips because they are quite something. They are the perfect combination between peach and pink. They've got these gorgeous, almost like cream edges on them. They look so beautiful. The almost creme de la creme of the tulip world, as they say. They are looking absolutely magnificent. I must ask Steve why he does this. I do believe that it's so that they grow up straight and so that they don't flop. Um, but they, I must say, they are all standing to attention. They're looking just sensational. Absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait for that bed of hydrangeas behind to erupt over the next couple of months. Really in high summer, I think this garden is at its best. And it's really lovely that I can that I can share this with you and almost take it from the bleaks of midwinter to <laughs> the beauty of high summer. But again, we've got this gorgeous breakfast terrace here. We've got more pots with tulips in that haven't quite flourished just yet. And these, I think in the next couple of weeks are going to look absolutely magnificent. A gorgeous bench. I will actually leave all the details 
details to the outside furniture that you will see in this vlog because I get so many questions and just in case heading into the spring and summer you are looking to freshen up your outside furniture then I will um, as I said link it below and then finally we have got a few more tulips in these gorgeous pots here I mean just for context look at the size of this tulip compared to my hand it is absolutely enormous enormous oh they're absolutely beautiful and then we've got the lavender up the side of the arbor and this is going to be magnificent this year it was last year but steve said that he gave it a serious prune and has been really training the roses and separating them there's one thing about roses is that they do like to climb and really almost like clunk together and you get a lot of suckers so he's been taking those off entwining them around the arbor separating them to ensure that they are going to come into their very own in hopefully not long at all. Okay, it's time to go around the orchard, boys. Mummy's been walking around talking about tulips for the last 10 minutes. It's time to focus on you. Okay, drop. Drop. He says my brothers are going to steal the ball, Mummy. I can't risk it. Ready? Ready? You are just noisy, you are. And then you're too lazy. You don't even run after the ball. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then Odie just shouts at Raffi for about 10 minutes, so we might as well come into here. Come on, boys! Come on, then! Let's go! Come on, Mummy's little scrunchkins! So the daffodils are really well and truly coming out. The wild garlic has gone absolutely crazy and the blossom trees are beginning to show their magic. Now I'm going to try and get an angle where you can see just how vibrant and pink that tree is. Look at that. But it is literally bubblegum pink with beautiful fuchsia centres and it looks absolutely stunning. Then these I think are my favourite trees in the garden. Apart from one at the very end, we've got this little collection of blossom here and it is literally bright fuchsia and it looks incredible when it is in full bloom. So of course, no matter what vlog it will be on, I will try and get out here to show it to you in full 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 bloom but this is literally days away and it looks absolutely sensational and I must say the blossom is coming quite early this year um, and I'm really praying we're gonna get some gorgeous weather so that we can come out here and actually enjoy it but the babies are out amongst the daffodils mousing as per usual they are just over there wigs that's a lot. And then my favorite tree is actually just down here. And that really is an absolute masterpiece. We're gonna do a bit of a shortcut. This is my tree. It is absolutely breathtaking when she is in full bloom. So again, I will share that with you over the coming weeks. But just to give you an idea of the color, it is just incredible. Our camellia tree is looking as vibrant as ever. I need to collect some of these beautiful petals and actually take them into the house and dry them because look at how vibrant they are. They are absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that bloom, just breathtaking. I mean, it is actually the literal definition of pure perfection. I am, oh, this really does just set my soul on fire. Now, where are those little rascals? They see Wiggy just trotting over there somewhere. And I can see there is a very dark cloud else coming after me. There are lots more daffodils out, but trust me, there are lots more to come. As I said in a previous vlog, I think actually the last vlog that I brought you around the garden with Steve to show you the wild garlic. Gosh, this is a glamorous look, isn't it? <laughs> 
but we have got so much wild garlic it is absolutely incredible and I've got so many delicious recipes that I cannot wait to share with you but actually one of my favorite recipes is definitely one of Kimberly's now if you guys don't know Kimberly then you can actually scroll back on my YouTube channel we went to her 80th birthday party yes 80 80 can you believe it she's the most glamorous 80 year old you've ever seen in your entire life you'll watch it and think she's 50 she is just the most fabulous woman you've ever met in your entire life but she's also the most incredible cook and i have learned so much from kimberly and she makes this pine nut parmesan wild garlic dip to die for literally it is the best thing you'll ever taste in your life and you will hate me because you will just have to continually make it and actually Kimberly is coming at the end of next week so maybe we'll save that and do that with Kimberly and you can learn from the very best yourself but look at this tree we've got pink blossom I'm really hoping that you're able to get an essence of that color I wish if it was a beautiful day you'd be able to see it but oh gosh it is absolutely stunning. Come on then, boys. Where's your ball? Where's your ball, young man? Come on, Lancelot. Now, where's your porky brother, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can feel a raindrop or two. So I'm going to make a mad dash back to the house with some scrumptious sausages who I think are going to run very quickly when they feel the raindrops themselves. And I will see you guys back inside back in the warmth and the dry without that blustery wind I told you guys my blowout would be officially blown out by the time we get back inside but I really really do feel like spring is well and truly here but we're having those like iffy days in between and actually I just looked at the weather forecast because I was toying with the idea of hopefully being able to film like a proper gorgeous garden tour tomorrow however tomorrow is 60% rain and and high winds so that's fun that's really fun so with anything I just thought do you know what hopefully I can be the sunshine <laughs> and you will have still enjoyed it but I wanted to share a few things with you because as I've been away I've come home to the most gorgeous deliveries and I have cherry picked a few of my favorites. The two things I'm about to show you were already up in the dressing room so hence why I'm upstairs and then we're going to go back downstairs. These deliveries have literally changed today because they are absolutely breathtaking like epic my face is hurting already first and foremost nice cream london a brand that i really do not need to introduce you to but if you are new to my youtube then welcome welcome to the team of the most extraordinarily supportive and kind and just incredible community there is so um as i said welcome to the youtube channel and a brand that i am absolutely obsessed with and have worked with for a long time now is a girlfriend of mine called Abigail Lee. First and foremost, she has her own Instagram account that is absolutely incredible. But more than that, she is the most insane entrepreneur boss woman and she has her own brand called Nice Cream London. Now, the brand is insane. Now, I would say that they predominantly do jewellery, but they also do slippers and homeware and candles. Um, they do do a few clothing bits, but it is just insane. The quality versus the price point. I, I always say this. I actually don't know how she's doing it because it is so so stunning so this is the branding you've got a gorgeous little sticker there that is Abigail herself and that is the branding and then in here when she posted the picture of the new launch, I have never replied to something quite so quickly. I am a pearl girl through and through. There is just something so gorgeous about having a pair of pearls and it just lights up your face. And, um, oh gosh, this is the brand new release of the Diamond Hydrangea and Pearl Bracelet. 
So if you guys have watched my International Women's Day event, you would have seen that we gave everybody a pair of hydrangea earrings. They're like little stud earrings. And actually they have just been won by one of my gorgeous subscribers and Instagram followers um, in my hamper. So these are the types of brands that you will get in my luxury by Lena or hamper. So to be able to win one of them, you've got to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, already why why are you not subscribing actually I'd love to know the answer to that question because it is mind-blowing the amount of people that are you know part of the community but a lot of you haven't subscribed so I'd love to know why you're not subscribing um, but anyway uh, this is the bracelet and in order to win my hampers oh my gosh this is everything gosh, I might need Mark's help with this Okay, I'm one of those people that just, I cannot put things on myself. Well, I'm gonna have to pop that on later and come back and show you, but it is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna try and just hold it to the camera, my hand behind so that you can see the beautiful petals. And then hopefully that's going to focus, just so that you can see the beautiful diamond hydrangeas and the pearls. It is absolutely beautiful. Now you all know me, I do love a matching set. And so Nice Cream London has launched the matching earrings. And seems as I have no earrings in today, why don't we pop them in? So of course I will leave everything linked down below. But even down to their gorgeous packaging, everything comes in these stunning little suede pouches. And I travel with these. So when I actually want to travel with all my jewellery in my jewellery box, but there are certain things that are extremely special that can't sort of scratch or touch one another. Almost like my real high jewellery pieces. They travel in an ice cream London pouch, but are they not the most beautiful earrings you have ever seen? Abigail, you are one smart cookie. They are absolutely magnificent. I also love the backs. I always find on my pearls, the backs are quite fiddly, but these are like big backs. And so you know that they are going to be very well protected and in my ears. Oh my God, I am absolutely obsessed. Oh, divine. Anyway, I need to get that on very quickly so that you can see it. I'm absolutely obsessed. So this is in the gold plated, but it also does come in silver. So if you are more of a silver galley, then she does that too. But I actually love mixing it up. I wear both silver and gold and I've got absolutely no jewelry on whatsoever. Please do not do a big deep dive into that. I just literally haven't put them on, but I always have my family signet ring, which is gold. And then my wedding rings and engagement ring is platinum. So silver-esque, platinum, next to gold. It works, it works, but these work. Now, my jumpsuit on the other hand is not going to work for what I'm about to show you, but I just have to share this with you. So, oh, whilst I've been away, Holland Cooper, my gorgeous girlies at Holland Cooper have sent me the most insane package you have ever seen, literally ever seen. So first and foremost, look at this packaging. We've got a very bougie black packaging. So normally I would get the iconic green, but I feel like the black is like, you know when you get like purple label Ralph Lauren? I'm feeling it, I'm vibing it. So on the inside, now this you would have actually already seen if you follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, you would have seen this already. Now this is the most stunning old Ralph Lauren, very timeless Hampton slash English country, um, sort of old heritage style gilet. It is the softest, quilted fabric and of course with Holland Cooper it is great British excellence they are using the finest woven materials it's beautifully lined in leather I love the sort of very old-school old-fashioned vintage poppers that they have used 
and it is absolutely stunning. Now I shot this for Instagram, but the size that they sent me was too big. So I sent it back and have got a size small, but I styled it with a belt and it worked and it looked incredible. And actually um, we posted a really, really funny TikTok about that reel. Obviously the reel looks really beautiful and dramatic. I'm in a tree. Yes, I'm in a tree. And uh, obviously trying to get into that tree, we did a really funny like Instagram versus reality uh, on TikTok. So I will leave my TikTok in that description box down below. Go and have a giggle because it's a really, really funny video. But you will see the most beautiful gilet. This is what they call the Alderstrop gilet in dark olive. And as I said, I have it in a size small. Okay. <laughs> we have repositioned so that you can see what it is that I am talking about But as I said the jumpsuit is not the one to style the gilet But quite frankly Holland Cooper you can style with just about anything and it still looks fabulous But I don't think the indigo blue is gonna go with the dark olive green But just so that you can see how beautiful this fabric is it is so soft It is so classy and I just love the fit pop a belt on now they have got the most scrumptious they're like contour leggings they're tight they're fitted they're high-waisted and they're in a deep rich olive and the outfit is epic I'm going to put a picture an overlay of the picture here of me in the outfit and it is everything you need to run and go and get this chile and the dark olive trousers because you are going to look insane when I popped them on I was like is that my bum? Is that my bum in those leggings? Even when I came downstairs, Anna was like, oh, you're looking good, girl. Yes, that is down to the Holland Cooper leggings. They are everything. So um, although you're not actually seeing them right now, you need them in your life. Now, I always bang on about it. Things that one needs in their life is a classic classy timeless blazer and holland cooper are renowned they are famous for blazers and they have just brought out the perfect blazer for spring and summer and it is called wait for it just wait for it hold on to your knickers it's called the henley blazer being a henley girl through and through i needed it i wanted it i must have it and here she is is this not <gasps> gasp worthy it's everything everything I would ever want in a blazer it's lightweight it's soft it's classy it's in this gorgeous jersey like fabric you've got those gorgeous buttons I mean it almost looks like a Henley regatta almost like Harvard rowing blazer so I'm gonna pop this on and for size reference, I think I got this in an extra small. I did get this in an extra small, and this is what they call their ink navy. Again, the jumpsuit is really not vibing. And there you go, just stunning. It's fitted without being too fitted. It's stretchy, it's perfect on the shoulders, almost as though it has been tailored to my body. You could wear it over sort of almost like white cutoffs. You could wear it over navy trousers, you could wear it over jeans. Think white linen dress, little Chanel navy pumps. So old school, so classic, timeless, elegant, everything. And it's almost like the fabric is going to let you breathe. So if it is a really hot summer's day, you're not gonna get too hot. I just love the styling of this. And again, lay your eyes on that beautiful crest just the detail on the HC the beautiful white piping I'm obsessed to give you guys a real close-up of the detail and just the extraordinary beauty of those beautiful little buttons just elevates the whole look i don't know about you but i am i'm obsessed with it now i know what holland cooper can especially with their tailoring be on sort of the more spenny side of things and i totally understand that and appreciate that but you are investing in a luxury piece that is going to last you a lifetime and and that said when i saw this blazer 
I was so shocked and pleasantly surprised when I saw the price point. Now this blazer is £229. I was absolutely flabbergasted because the quality is truly sensational. This is a piece that you are going to have forever. You're going to pass down to your daughters, to your nieces, anyone, anyone that you want to give it to. And it's just such a beautiful piece for the most unbelievable price. And the quality is absolutely phenomenal. Now, um, I was so obsessed with the blazer. I'm still yet to show you a few more details, but it comes in another colorway. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. You are actually going to see me live in this. I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep in it. I love it that much. And don't get too too dramatic. You've all seen a bit of booby on this YouTube channel before, so I haven't popped on a uh, camisole underneath, but just so you guys can get the gist, this is the Henley Blazer in cream, and it is absolutely everything. I am obsessed. This is stunning. The details on this blazer. I love the navy, but this is different. If I said to you a white blazer, you'd be like, mm, Leo, might be a bit much. This is so timeless and so classy. Obviously not with the bra underneath, but you can get the vibe. And obviously this is the opposite. So we've got a beautiful cream base with the stunning navy piping. You've got the gorgeous navy badge with the stunning, almost like family crest of the HC. It's so beautifully done. And although it's quite big, it's so timeless and it's so elegant and then you've got the beautiful gold buttons here and that then matches the single breasted gold buttons that then go down to two beautiful little pockets just the way that they have tailored this it is everything absolutely everything now if you are paying attention, you would have already noticed the fabulous pair of trousers that I've got on. Now this is what Holland Cooper called their wide leg pant. They are so comfortable, they are just so flattering, and this is the natural with a gorgeous beige stripe. Now they've got these in quite a few different colorways. Run, go and grab them all. You are going to wear with absolutely everything. They are so comfortable, I feel like these are going to be like an at-home staple, yet they are so fabulous and so flattering that you're gonna wanna wear them out as well. You could pop on a gorgeous pair of like suede espadrilles. I will also link Holland Cooper's espadrilles down below because I live in them. They are honestly the best dupe to like the Laura Piana loafer, and I probably definitely shouldn't have said that, but um, if you want like luxury for less that's still great quality that's not going to break the bank, then the Holland Cooper beige espadrilles. I'll leave a picture here so that you get the gist, but they'll also be in that description box down below. But think about it, espadrilles, trainers, heels, boots, just about anything, and this outfit is epic! Look at this blazer. You are literally going to see me live in this. Everything from like a cute pair of like white linen shorts or a little skirt, so beautiful with like a tea dress, everything. This is the perfect. If you are going to Henley Royal Regatta, this blazer would be absolutely perfect. And just look at the way that they match my nice cream London earrings to perfection. Do you think I can go and cook dinner like this? Not with the boobies out. <laughs> and not in a cream Holland Cooper blazer. I think I would give myself a heart attack just as much as I would give you one, but I am absolutely obsessed. So these were the gorgeous pieces that I was desperate to show you. I feel like you guys will be just as obsessed as I am with them. They are just absolutely gorgeous. And I know these Henny Blazers are going to sell out. So make sure you get yours in time. And if there are a few of you that are going to Henley Royal Regatta, you are going to show up and win the competition. Even if you're not rowing, you're gonna win the fashion. You're gonna show up and just floor everybody in the beautiful Henley Blazers. And the fact that it's actually called the Henley Blazer, ah, oh, just. Jade, the whole design team, everybody at Holland Cooper, you need a round of applause. Epic, 
outstanding. Anyway, so these were the few bits and pieces that I wanted to share with you up here. I've got a few more bits and pieces, completely on a different trajectory downstairs, but you guys are always asking me about them, and actually the brands have very, very kindly sent me a few top-ups. So talking of top-ups, let's go and make another mocktail <laughs> downstairs. So I'm going to quickly whip this off, put my jumpsuit back on, and I will meet you guys downstairs back downstairs and I've just got a couple of things I want to share with you. It's been about half an hour since I actually spoke to you last. Um, I just had a vlog go live so I always just like to first and foremost ensure that it's up and it's live and it's working properly. You always have that like first 50 minute worry um, but I think I think it's going well. Anyway, back to now, back to this, back to you. <laughs> and as I said, I've got a couple of things here that I want to share with you. Now, this is the iconic lip oils from Clarence. I have actually tried these before and I think I like used them in the first month. I was that obsessed. And they've been really, really kind and sent me another box. Now, these were sold out literally worldwide. I think there was like a TikTok video that went viral. I think it's had over like 120 or 130 million views so nobody could get their hands on it and this is the icon that is the Clarins lip comfort oil and there are three different colors and it's basically skincare for your lips they will plump them nourish them they'll be glossy there are so many incredible uh, vitamins and minerals it's basically skincare for your lips and they are absolutely remarkable. They've also sent a little handwritten note and it basically says, this nourishing lip formula is the ultimate skincare makeup hybrid enriched with three organic plant oils to nourish, protect and comfort the lips with eight hours of protection and six hours of hydration and nutrition. The non-sticky texture visibly plumps lips, delivering a juicy color and a glossy finish. Now, if that's not what you want from your lip gloss, then I don't know what else is. Now, they are available in eight different shades, but Clarence have been so, so kind and they have sent me three of them. So let's take a little look. First and foremost, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Now, anything from Clarence, you know it's going to be exceptional quality and the packaging is going to be bougie. Now, this color here is what Clarence call O2. So it's a beautiful, almost like a berry color. Oh gosh, and it smells like berries too. Gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful applicator. Actually, my lip gloss has worn off, so it's perfect you can see exactly what the color is going to be oh gosh it really is just so soft absolutely zero stickiness to it but yet it still feels like velvet my lips are gliding and they smell <laughs> don't screenshot me doing that but you know when something smells just so gorgeous the way that I'm talking to you and my lips are moving I'm smelling just the most gorgeous essence of it's almost like vanilla but with beautiful fresh berries then they have sent their iconic honey color so this is the O1 this is what sells out time and time again and it is epic now I've actually just got a tissue to take off the number two just so that you can see what the honey looks like I'm gonna take that off oh what a waste anyway I just want to show you what it really looks like and I feel like this is just going to be that gorgeous golden gloss that we all want super natural super glowy oh my god the smell oh my goodness I literally feel as though I'm in a beehive the smell is absolutely sensational. So supernatural. Look at that. So nourishing. And there really is a definite plump value to that. Look at them. Looking and juicy. Divine. As you can see, that is a real beautiful, deep, rich, and vibrant red. 
I'm gonna take honey off for a second. Honey, honey, how you thrill me. Uh huh, honey, honey. Favorite film of all time. Favorite music of all time. Good old ABBA. Right, that is honey off. As you can see, no gloss at all. I was gonna make sure you are in focus. And on goes number three. Nothing that's quite so satisfying as hearing one, a champagne cork pop, and two, that noise. Okay. Oh, wow. Again, there's such a gorgeous sheerness to this. You don't have to worry. Uh, not popping it on in a mirror. I'm just going to double check that it's not all over my face but as you can see it's just slightly darker still got a gorgeous sheer really natural look to it and they're absolutely beautiful so as i said they are packed full of nutrients vitamins they're plumping your lips are going to look juicy eight hours of protection and six hours of hydration Mm, they are an absolute no-brainer eight shades and I feel like they've sent me just the most gorgeous shades that are going to be perfect for any occasion they are those lip oils that you are going to have in your bag that are just going to be an absolute winner so I will leave those in the description box down below and then talking of something very very exciting as you guys know i am a huge huge fan of belvoir and recently <laughs> a friend of mine came over and i was like do you fancy a belvoir mocktail and she was like what's belvoir i was like you know belvoir so i went to go get one of the bottles and she was like leo that is so embarrassing have you been calling them belvoir i mean do you not think anyway i am wrong i am so terribly wrong that friend lives very very close to the farm and she told me that she had in fact been pronouncing it um belvoir herself until the brand actually uh, sent her a voice note and told her that their company is in fact called beaver beaver farm I don't know how it's pronounced that, but it is. So um, that is that. And I'm going to make a public apology to Beaver that I am so sorry that I have been calling your um, brand the wrong name for quite a lot of time. I've been a huge fan and client for many, many years and they've been so kind and they have sent me their spring box of goodies. So I thought we could unbox it together. Now, with anything from Beaver, there really, really are the best of the best, the best ingredients, and just the most beautiful story behind everything. And they have been so kind and sent me a little note. So it says, welcome to the corner of the beautiful British countryside. As someone who shares the same values for embracing the great outdoors, giving back to nature, inspiring those to get out into their garden spaces and caring about sustainability. We're delighted to share with you some of the things we're proud to be doing to give back to nature on our family farm. And not only is their brand ethos just truly extraordinary, the product itself is absolutely creme de la creme. And um, I'm just obsessed with the brand. I have first and foremost been a client and have been a fully paying client for literally as long as I can remember. You guys all know me, I'm not a huge drinker. So I always want to be able to have something that one is delicious and two, feels a little bit bougie and that I'm not missing out on. And quite honestly, I think this is just the absolute best. So this is Beaver Farms, no added sugar, elderflower and apple cordial. I've not tried this one yet. So look at that. The branding is incredible. They're all in glass bottles, fully sustainable, and the ingredients are sensational. So this English elderflower and apple cordial is crafted using an infusion of fresh English elderflower for a gentle floral aroma blended with apple juice, and it's naturally sweetened using the power of plants. <gasps> obsessed, absolutely obsessed. So what else have we got in this little box of heaven so this is beaver farms sicilian blood orange lemonade 
that will be perfect going into spring and summer. Then they have a freshly squeezed lemonade, literally tastes like sunshine and made from sunshine apparently here. Then we have the sparkling mango and peach. That sounds absolutely sensational. And then here we have, what is this? This is a shrill cardaby seed ball, wildflower seeds for bees. Oh, so these are actually for your bees. Oh my gosh, so they're not only sending things for you, but they are also sending things for your bees. So on the inside it says, simply scatter on top of soil in a garden or pot pot, water and let nature do the rest. I think that that is absolutely incredible. Honestly, Viva, I'm, I'm blown away by this. One of my favorite things in the entire box is the honey. Now, I am a little bit of a honey addict. So this is from Leicestershire, golden honey created by Beaver Farm Bees. Untreated, unprocessed, and unpasteurized. And look at that the most beautiful branding in the most gorgeous jar. And you know when a honey is going to be good, when it is that rich golden color. <gasps> I can't wait to have this on my toast in the morning. So those were the few things that I wanted to share with you. And actually, I feel like I'm in one of those cooking programs where I'm like, what I prepared earlier, literally what I prepared earlier, is my glass. A whole load of ice. Well, actually, I started talking to you, what, <laughs> about 15 minutes ago. And in fact, my ice has, in fact, uh, melted somewhat. So, mm, I'm going to drink the water from the ice that has melted. And I'm going to make my favorite mocktail with you. Now, I have never tried the elderflower and apple. I feel like this is a new one from them. I've got so many others. But literally, it is as simple as this. I always do tend to give them a little bit of a mix, although this doesn't have anything in it that looks like it needs a mix. And then I pop in probably just about that. They say, you know, I'm probably a bit heavy on my servings. There we go. And then I have a glass or a bottle, or you can get those jazzy machines in your house that make water into sparkling water. I just use Perrier and... Um, I just like, I know it sounds like a bizarre thing to say you like the taste of a certain water, but I really do. The um, percentage of bubbles to water in a Perrier is perfect. What a ridiculous thing to say, Leonora. And then I pop a whole bottle of sparkling water in. Always have lots of ice. Always have a jazzy garnish. I've gone with a little bit of basil. I've got an extra, I'll show this to you wide glass straw now these are literally from amazon they are cheap as chips and they are so handy and some people can use them if actually you are a gentleman and you want to have a stirrer they use them as a stirrer but then ladies who don't want to ruin their lip gloss because we have in fact just popped on our beautiful comfort clarins oil um mm, can drink out of it oh. That is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. I love elderflower. Elderflower is like my thing. But with the apple, it's like creamy and rich and delicious and it's not too sweet. It's still got a slight tartness to it. Gosh, that's absolutely scrumptious. Wow. Well, I will of course leave all of those bits and pieces linked down below. And this evening, we're just gonna have a really chilled one. Mark has actually gone to the pub, which I am rather miffed off about, if I'm honest. Um, he snuck off <laughs> whilst I was vlogging, and I was really hoping he was gonna take Odie with him. Odie loves going to the pub, honestly. If ever there was a dog that just adored going to the pub and being social, it's Odie. And he snuck out whilst I was vlogging and didn't take his son with him. I mean, bad dog parent, bad dog parent. I'm honestly so miffed off. He Odie looking so depressed waiting by the back door. Mm, not impressed at all. So I am going to be finishing my mocktail, making dinner and probably making Mark feel guilty all evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I always think if he's gonna go to the pub, then he's got to take somebody. Yes, he's got to take somebody. Hey, do you want to go to the pub? Do you want to be a social sausage? Yeah, or do you want to stay here with mummy and drink mocktails? Oh, a bit tired. Actually, it's one thing Lancelot is not a big fan of. He's not a big fan of the car. He always gets a bit shaky and a bit nervous. He's fine when he's in like his travel bag. Um, but he's not he's not a huge fan of the car, so it's one of those annoying things. You just got to do it more often so they feel um, less anxious in the car. So we're going to do a lot more outings, aren't we? Daddy's got to take you to the pub. Yeah, he'll be happy going to the pub more often. But that's the caveat, isn't it? He's just got to take a baby. Anyways, as I said, we're going to have a super chilled one this evening. So I think I'm going to say goodbye for tonight and I will see you guys on the next vlog. I feel like this has been a really chilled and casual one. We've been kind of just in a way chatting and catching up, sharing a few bits and pieces that are my absolute favourites with you, walking around a very miserable grey and windy garden, but those tulips are just absolutely beautiful. I've got a very tired sausage who is very happy that mummy is home, aren't you? Yeah, you happy? Mummy's home. Our hair is almost matching as well. <laughs> it's like, where does Leo end and Lancelot start? Hey, hey, you gonna say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. <laughs> so as I said, we are going to be having a super chilled one this evening. So I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been really chilled and just so lovely to be able to just sit down quietly and just catch up, share a few bits and pieces that are my absolute favourites and um, not be here, there and absolutely everywhere firing on all cylinders. Do you know what? Some days we just have to have quiet days and in all honesty, I feel like I've had an off day today. I'm probably in need of a good cry and um, I think it might be coming up to the time of month. <laughs> and also look at, look at Lancelot right now. He's just lounging, lounging like a little man. Huh? Anyway. We are sending all of our love and thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.